Sanbona and Sanbona and Sanbona and good afternoon. Um, yeah, today it's one of those days. Um, yeah, I received very bad news. Um, yeah, my mentor passed away, and yeah, we we're just doing some brilliant work there. So, and I didn't sleep well. So I'm just feeling very tired, but I thought let me just quickly do this before I can just go and get a nap. Today is a Kulu Mangale and Toleo Um Actually, I'm, I'm helping you to answer that question of what is your house really an asset or a liability? Uh, I know most of the time we are told that a house is a an asset. And uh, let me tell you what uh, an asset is. An asset is something that appreciates, number one. And then an asset is something that brings money or increases your income in your life. So, yeah, that what, what, that's what an asset is. So, then we, as the reason we are told to go to a house is an asset, it's because the house uh, appreciates in value. So, uh, the house instead, it appreciates in value, hence to an asset. But now today, I wanted us to speak honestly and look into these things honestly and be honest with ourselves and then also to help each other have understanding of which when is your house really an asset and why I also say many of us do we think we have assets in a house but we actually have a liability more than an asset the houses that we are staying in are more of a liability than an asset and I'll explain why most of us especially like the city is in through the bonded houses uh, it's very, very rare that we, 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 what we are owing to the bank, especially in the first couple of five years, the house is worth more than that. What do I mean by that? Mau to Alisa, your statement of assets and liabilities, you actually put. <laughs> the value of the house let's say if i evaluate it at eighty thousand or hundred thousand let's make a straight a simple thing by evaluate hundred thousand and then you'll put that value as an asset with so this asset is a hundred thousand but you also need to put the very same asset to the money that you are owing to the bank as a liability under liabilities meaning it is the home loan account it is a, a liability and many of us are not conscious of this thing hence we are not taking good care of our credit or, or, or our bond payments and we are not taking care of our houses the way we're supposed to in most cases you find that the house the value of the bond is actually more than what the value of the house is especially while you are still paying interest especially the first five years of the of the of the of your bond and it does not only end there you also incur costs living costs like your electricity your rates and taxes your maintenance your general maintenance of the house all those costs we still put them under liabilities it's like it's an, it's an expense that you 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 you, it, it, you have at a around the house now when you add those values what you are spending on a monthly basis what you are spending on a monthly basis uh, plus your i'm talking about spending on the house your rates and taxes your electricity your water and then your general maintenance of the house and then plus um your bond installment when you take those things and add them together when they are over what your value of your house is, then that house is not yet an asset. That house is still a liability. Hence, if you do not pay it, then it gets taken away from you. So this we need to understand which while we are paying this bond and then it says, yeah, the bank, if we still owe the bank, 
that house is not really an asset only unless if the money to pay that bond it is not coming from you from your own pocket then that house is an asset how so if there's no money that is coming out of your own pocket that is added uh, to pay for that installment let's say you have this property and it's a rental property where the tenants and the, you are not the monies that you are receiving for rental it is what is paying for the bond uh, of the house then that house it, it's an asset because there is no money that is coming out of your pocket for the maintenance of that particular house not really for the maintenance for the for having that house so actually that house is putting money in your pocket versus we it's taking money out of your pocket so why i'm sharing this thing i'm sharing this thing so that we are very conscious as to what is it that we end up putting ourselves into especially this thing here to which once you start buying maybe you you you, you get a you buy a house in the township and you start getting paid a, a little bit of a better salary then you move to the um, suburbs you're earning 40 hundred thousand and then you get a bond where you're paying, paying a house 50,000 and there's all these other rates and taxes and all these things that go so it, 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 it when, when your house should not be more than 20 percent of your income the installment that you pay it must not be to over 20 percent if, if it's over 20 percent the installment that you are paying towards that house then you must know what that house is actually draining you that house is actually a, a, a liability in your life and you need to relook as to how you can change that around which is why other people are using this concept here airbnb and um to make the house generate money from them and make that house a real asset because now it's not taking out money but it's bringing in money into the house or into your pocket into your life hence again like the other race of a loom they take these beautiful houses they turn them into um bed and breakfast uh, they turn them into like there's one uh, that we went to i think it's 20 it's last year yeah when we went out for our anniversary honeymoon we hired this house it, it was in Houghton, and that house on the thing it looks we didn't think it was a like somebody else's house staying there we saw it as a yeah what's what it is a lodge or a a, a b and b only to 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 learn when we got there that the owner actually stays there only to learn that the owner actually stays in that house he uses one of the bedrooms in that house and then only if there's got they've got guests that are more than like the full capacity then they will ensure that especially over the weekends the friday saturday sunday they are not around so that the guests can be comfortable but that house they are actually living in it but that house to them it is not just a house it is actually an asset generating uh, income uh, income generating asset for them they are not just paying the bond and he told us Wuti, they've got so many of those houses not different they have, they've got over 10 properties around the area and sent in but when out there it is advertised as a um as a as a yeah as a as a bed and breakfast a lot type of it, beautiful house but it's actually a residence within the residential area it's a residential house which is why not we've got to start learning to utilize the, the, the houses that we have and what is this general telemark that's why and you've got tenants that are paying maybe let's say in a bond and you've got rooms outside rooms and the tenants that are um staying in that room then the house that we know you're living in it is an asset because level to level they are paying you there's money coming in for you having that house so you are not actually taking money out of your pocket but you are receiving money to pay uh, for the uh, for this particular house so i wanted to, us to understand very clearly what it's very easy for us to be captured by all these things you know in excitement 
and do not really understand what is, 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 is the nitty gritty of what the things that, that you are doing. Hence, if anything happens to you, we are shown and your house is not in order like you are in areas and then you don't even have life cover, then you find yourself in that position with this every possessor. The very same house will never see to your owner or it is an asset. So while you are paying it, paying for it, uh, to the bank and it is not giving you money in a form of maybe rental income then that house that you are staying in is not an asset that house is actually a liability because it's taking money out of your pocket so it is then your responsibility in your way to start looking at how can i start using this asset this asset and make it to generate income for me so that then it can become a real asset. And then for those that are very Abasai Kweleti and even those that are building cash, those people then they've got an asset because they that money it is that house is not taking out money out of their own pocket. Hence I was saying check the value, the market value of that house, then look at the twenty percent year corner. If the installment yeah twenty percent it does it is it going out of yeah is it um you are not paying more than 20 percent from your income for that house then you must know what that house at least it's still within the scale of is what is an asset otherwise you need to be very um uh, creative and see of other ways that you can start using that man that house to generate more income and then is uh, later more money into our lives so that is it that I wanted to share. As in Shiloh, I'm not, I'm not okay in front of Lala because I didn't sleep at all. So in front of Lala, even if it's 30 minutes, then I'll come back refreshed and carry on with everything else that I need to do. And I'm shanj. Uh, but other than that, that is it for me to you today. And then Sasage, I will also share the different, the other assets, uh, income generating assets. A, a call that we already are, are not conscious of so i will share those things tomorrow but for now uh, this is it from me to you today much much love thank you bye bye